Kayla here with Jake Libby following the, the win against Sussex. Uh, congratulations, Jake. Really well batted. Um, it was a bit of a struggle early on, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, to be honest, to pull that out of the bag at times, I, I didn't even think the win was possible, to be honest with you. So, um, yeah, to, to stand here with a victory is, is yeah, unbelievable, to be honest. And I think, you know, a lot of credit has to go to Darwin Coxie, how they came in and, you know, pushed on the scoreboard. And then, obviously, the partnership with Jack was, was really good and probably got us in, in a position to allow us to do that, really. But, yeah, no, I'm, I'm really happy. Um, it couldn't have gone any, any better than the last day. From your own point of view, you, you appear to... To, to struggle as you might expect to against the new ball early on, but once you got to about 25 30, you seem to settle and find your rhythm, and it really started to come nicely, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. I think it's been, you know, this week it's been the uh, story really. The new ball's been pretty tough, as, as Lucci's shown, he's gone really well, and obviously, special mention to him, he's ball and led us really well this week. Um, so, yeah, it was tough for the new ball, but then once we got in, um, you know, it did flatten out a bit, it got a little bit slower. Um, but yeah, you know, we, we played really well there, so it's a hell of a chase um, on the last day and yeah, the boys up there can be really proud. Um, given that, quite impressed with uh, Sussex's attack, given its youth really, I mean both in the seam and spin departments, they've built pretty well, haven't they? That's right, yeah, they're obviously a very young team, um, probably going through a little bit of a transition down there, but yeah, they, they certainly gave us a really good test and probably, if I'm being honest, we're on top of us for most of the fixture, so um, yeah, look, they've got... They've got a promise of you, just a lot of them, they're obviously a very young team and um, yeah, I was, I was quite impressed by them. You all know the top run scorer in the country, did you know that? I have my ticket, I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> How does that feel? Yeah, it's obviously nice, personally. Um, I think Bellingham's also had a week off on the years of COVID, so that's probably helped. But yeah, no, obviously really proud. Um, yeah, hopefully we can keep it going for the rest of September. It's been a good move coming for you from, from Trent Bridge. And it, it, you kind of got a different role in this Worcestershire side than you had at, at Knox because you, you've, you've come in and you're like one of the senior batsmen straight away. Do you think that's been a real help in kicking you on? To be honest, I think that's probably the key factor for me. I've, I've come in here and they've made me feel really welcome. It's also been a great move for me, but just feel you know more of a senior player here. And if I, if I play well, I know it's my spot. Um, and yeah, I've just really enjoyed playing with, with them under Leachy, um, Alex Goodman, I've, I've really enjoyed it. Um, it's, it's just allowed me to, to play freely really and um, sort of express myself on the pitch. Um, and yeah, I, no, I could be more thankful for them. Um, and you know, I, I think it's a really exciting group and I'm really excited for the future with them. Thanks very much. Okay. So what would it mean to you to become the first player in the country to get to a thousand this season? Because you only won 40, I think it's about 45 or something now. You, got, like, you went past Bedding as you know. and. Uh, what would that be a big thing for you to get to, get to first to a thousand? Yeah, massively. Yeah, I think you know you have targets at the start of each year, and well, a thousand was certainly on, on there. But I think realistically, that would have been a really good effort. So hopefully, I'll get there at some stage. It'd be nice to be the first one there. But um, you know, it, it's always nice to to achieve a thousand runs. I gotta say, I mean, you've been consistent has been the key people on it. I mean, four centuries, four fifties. You you very very rarely fail more than one innings in a row, almost. Yeah, I mean, it's it's felt like that a little bit at the minute. I know I fully understand with cricket that can soon change, so I'm just enjoying it while I'm in good form at the minute. And, um, you know, hopefully we're in for a big September and then, you know, I want to keep putting in performances for the team. It was a good move when it to push Coxie up the older today, it sort of uh, changed it around a bit and maybe it threw them a bit, possibly. Yeah, I think we talked about it at lunch and tea. Um, you know, I think Coxie was coming in for quite a while, really, but me and Haynes have got a decent partnership. and. A lot of credit has to go to how Coxie played. Um, he took all the pressure off me, really, and then obviously Dole coming at the end and playing that was pretty special knock. So um, we talked about it at tea. We, we knew it would take something pretty special to win this game. Um, and, you know, their two innings were, were fantastic. I bet you, did you feel like, long me, I'm playing against all these 16, 17, 18 year olds here. Was it a bit, uh, did it feel a bit weird? I mean, that's the youngest, one of the youngest sides ever in the championship. Yeah, no, look, I think they certainly have fought well this week. They're, they're actually really pleased with their efforts, and I think. They're probably unlucky to be on the losing side there. Um, but, you know, yeah, we, at times I think we can reflect on the game and, and probably could have done things better. We'd probably be on the eight ball for most of it. So to pull out the win on the last day like that was, was you know, a really good team effort. And now you've got a real big game against Kent who were just behind you in the table. I mean, and they're probably going to have quite a strong side there by the looks of it. That's right, yeah. I mean, they obviously won yesterday, so um, they're looking really strong. Yeah, we've got to go down to Canterbury and, and, and try and pull out a good performance there because we know we're in for a tough game and we're going to have to play our best cricket. Do you think you'll still be playing at the age of 46? <laughs> no, I think Darren's unbelievable now. He's kept going obviously 100 this week. So, yeah, it's always a pleasure to play against him. He's a hell of a cricketer and, um, yeah, it's certainly a fine effort, isn't it?